to set up your work origin in the machine, your work offset, it's very important that you know how the part was programmed. So you need to know was was it programmed um, for the origin to be the corner of the finished model here? Or is the origin the corner of the stock, the rough stock? So there are uh, arguments we made for doing either way. Um, it's just very important that you know. So if it's the corner of the finished model, your finished surfaces here, when you come in and touch off your X and Y, you need to make sure that you're doing an additional shift by whatever this amount is from your rough stock to your finished part. So there's, you have to account for that extra material there to actually get to your or your intended origin here. All right, so I want to put my stock in my vise. I gently set it up against the X stop on the left there, and I tighten the vise a little. And just to make sure the part is seated, I'll give it a little tap with the hammer. And then I uh, I often see people. Um, over tighten the vise. Like they'll take the hammer and actually just beat the handle so hard that they're actually crushing their part with it. I'm just going to use one hand like you see. And now I'm touching off the left side. This is the X negative face. So my origin is that back left corner. You saw some chips there. Well, let's see. There are some chips. So I've touched. I'm going to go to my offsets page. So this is the tool offsets. I want to be working in work offsets. There's my work offsets. You can see the first thing there is EXT. I don't want to put anything in there. Those should all be zero. So I'm working in G54. So I'm going to arrow down to G54. Type X negative. 0.25 measure. So I did negative 0.25 because it's a half inch tool. The radius of the tool is 0.25. So I'm telling it I'm currently at x negative 0.25 when I do that. So here's showing I'm doing the y. That's looking from the side. So I'm at y positive 0.25. So I say y 0.25. Five. Make sure it looks good, and then measure, and then that's going to re reflect in your absolute value right there. So alternately, another way I've seen this done is if you type y zero measure, you're saying I'm currently at y zero, but actually you're at y positive point two five. So if you want to shift it a negative 0.25 and then plus input and then execute now your number reflects what you want yeah y positive 0.25 and then lastly maybe your uh, finished part is where your origin is instead of the stock so in this case I'll put uh, negative 0 0.03 plus input and then execute. So now I'm at y.28. So I'm allowing for a little bit of stock to be um, outside my finished part where my origin would be. And you would do the same thing for x and z. So now I'm going to go to MDI. So I want to touch off my z, but before I do my z, I want to make sure the tool height is active. So I'm going to go. MDI, type of G43H18, 
Um, it's H18 because I have tool 18 in the spindle. That's the tool I'm using. The H value should match the tool number. End of block insert. So I'm just going to make sure that looks right. Yes. And then when I hit cycle start, you'll notice the absolute Z value changes because it's now going to uh, be taking into account that tool length or tool height, which is about 5 inches. So now I'm going to come down in Z with the spindle on until I touch the top of this rough stock here. And I saw some chips, so I must have touched. Let me go back to my offsets page. I'm in G54. Now I want to type Z0 measure. So that's telling it I'm currently at Z0. You'll see the absolute value just changed to 0. And then just like we had with the Y, um, you may need to shift. I'm going to do negative 0 0.03. Shift that down just a little bit so that if we have a facing pass at Z0, we want to make sure it's actually removing some material. So I'm going to say uh, it's 30 thousandths below where we were. So if you look uh, at these work coordinates under G54, it's showing X 27.152. So that means we're 27 inches from X home position to the uh, center of our origin in the X direction. Uh, same with Y, negative 5 inches from Y home to the origin of G54. And then Z, that number negative 19.676 that does not account for the tool length so from the spindle nose to the top of the workpiece or wherever the origin is is negative 19.676 inches